grace and peace to you today. I hope that you and your families are continuing to stay safe and stay well and stay cool. These days are beginning to heat up as we get ready for another summer. Well, as a disclaimer, I want you to know that I'm not holding my cell phone, not holding my device. I've got both hands on the wheel so that my recording this is not interfering with my driving in any way whatsoever. While you would normally get this little word of encouragement with me either sitting or standing or sometimes walking, but this time I'm doing it while I'm driving. You know, uh, during these days of the pandemic, we have been doing a lot of drive-bys, eh? Uh, there have been these drive-by birthday parties, drive-by pickup luncheons, drive-by church, um, drive-by graduations. And so, well, I thought I'd do something a little different and do a little drive-by word of encouragement. Only thing is, I'm the one doing the driving. Seriously though, I want to take a moment to encourage you with a word of scripture as we go through this weekend. You know, we're still living in uncertain times, aren't we? This pandemic is not letting up, it seems. It has upended our lives in so many ways. There is still so much uncertainty. Even as we consider uh, taking the vaccine, there is some hesitancy about that and in the minds of a lot of people still some uncertainty. But you know, as we journey through these days, I want to encourage you to walk by faith and not by sight. Walk by faith and not by sight. Those are the words of the Apostle Paul as he writes to uh, the church at Corinth in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 7. Paul writes, and we walk by faith and not by sight. The New International Version of the Bible says we live by faith and not by sight. And I like how the Amplified Version of the Bible translates this verse or puts this verse. It says, for we walk by faith and not by sight. In other words, we are living our lives in a manner consistent with our confident belief in God's promises. We live our lives in a manner that is consistent with our confident belief in God's promises. The bottom line is we won't always see the ways that God is working out in our lives. We won't always understand some of the things that happens to us or some of the things that God allows to happen in our circumstances and in our experience. But we can know that God is in the midst. We can know that God is working things out in our best interest. How do we know that? Well, we walk by faith and not by sight. Faith, again, is living our lives in a manner that is consistent with our confident belief in God's promise. We can do that. We can live by faith even when we can't see or when we can't understand. We can trust God's word. In Hebrews chapter 11, there is this, I call it the hall of faith. There is this listing of men and women of faith, very ordinary men and women at that, who did extraordinary things, not because they had superhuman ability or superhuman understanding, but because they trusted in God's word. They had faith. They had a confident hope in the promise of God. That's what faith is. And that's what faith does. And so as we go through these days of seeming uncertainty, we don't know what next week is going to be like or next month or we don't know what's going to happen in a couple of months time, but we could be assured that God is with us and that he journeys with us as we walk by faith. 
to have faith is to know what God's word says. That means we have to take time to study it, right? And to read it and to meditate it. You got to know it. To have faith is to know what God's word says and then to believe it, to, to be convinced about it. And then to stand on that word, that is to live by it. Again, we may not always see, may not always understand, but we can know because God's word says so and we can trust the word of God. So I encourage you this weekend and as we head into a new week to walk by faith, to live by faith, to drive by faith, to eat by faith, to work by faith, to worship by faith, to love by faith, to serve by faith. I encourage you to stay in faith. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up the light of his countenance on you and give you peace. Stay in faith. My faith has found a resting place Not in device nor creed I trust the ever-living one His wounds for me shall plead Enough for me that Jesus saves this ends my fear and doubt A sinful soul I come to Him He'll never cast me out I need no other argument I need no other plea It is enough that Jesus died And that He died for me leaning on the word the written word of God salvation by my Savior's name salvation through his blood I need no other argument I need no other plea it is enough that Jesus died Sinking sand 